Now at seven, medical breakthrough. The experimental drug Dr. Anthony Fauci said could be the new standard of care for COVID-19 patients gets FDA approval for emergency use. Now in just a moment, we'll have more on the antiviral drug remdesivir and how it helped one South Florida man survive the disease. But first, we want to bring you this survival story. A hospital worker intubated and placed on a ventilator after getting seriously sick from COVID-19 is heading home tonight, thanks to the doctors and medical staff at Baptist Hospital. CBS 4's Mike Cuno spoke with that recovered patient earlier today. And Mike, she wanted to tell her story. What did she have to say? Well, the FDA gave Baptist Health approval to test a stem cell treatment on COVID-19 patients, and so far it's come back with positive results, successfully treating three patients, one of whom, Ruth Ramirez, says saved her life. Today, she's being discharged from the hospital. It, they saved my life. It definitely saved my life. Doctors at Baptist Health have successfully used what could be a game-changing treatment for COVID-19 patients. Ruth Ramirez was one of three patients who recently received stem cells from an umbilical cord known as mesenchymal cells. Mesenchymal stem cells have the ability to reduce cytokine levels. Baptist Hospital says patients like Ruth who receive this treatment showed reduction of their oxygen requirement from 100% to less than 50% within days of infusion, accompanied by significant reduction in levels of various key circulating inflammatory markers. I couldn't breathe. Um... I had a fever, a headache, you know, no, I was nauseous. Ruth, an employee of the Miami Cancer Institute, tested positive for COVID-19 back on April 7th and was admitted to the ICU, ended up on a ventilator fighting for her life. Knowing she may lose consciousness, she gave her sister power of attorney. That's when doctors Gunther Cohn and Javier Perez Fernandez approached the family about this FDA-approved experimental therapy. I, I'm a person that jumps, and I, I jump with hope. Yeah. to come out with the outcome, with the best outcome there is on the other side. So I think she took that into consideration with my characteristic and said, you know, Ruth will probably do this. According to friends, Ruth was in ICU for three weeks on a ventilator, unable to breathe on her own and away from her two small kids. But after waking up a week ago, she's now getting discharged. To be here in this room alone and not being to hold them, you know, it's it's hard. It was hard. Still fuzzy on the timeline, Ruth says she's unsure where along the way she received the treatment, but is thankful for the doctors and wants others to know there's hope. You know, I hear the bells here all the time. The Eye of the Tiger song, that's the song that you walk out of when you come out with coronavirus. And it's such a, it's such a pleasure hearing it all the time now, more than I heard it yesterday. Not only did the doctor step up, but so did her co-workers who set up this Ruthie Strong GoFundMe page to help with bills and expenses. They also helped take care of her family. They would send food to them, you know, groceries, and, and my kids were taken care of. My sister was taken care of. She didn't have to leave from the house, and they're, they're, they're just amazing. The biotech company Restem provide the stem cells for these treatments. Now, the University of Miami is also working on clinical trials using mesenchymal cells, which we reported on back in April. If you'd like to donate to Roots GoFundMe page, we'll have a link at CBSMiami.com. Mike Cunha, CBS4 News.